Okay, good evening everybody, welcome to Prestige Auctions, a uh, bit of a live chatter for you, uh, but basically it's to give you news of the uh, forthcoming auction we've got on the 23rd of August, uh, a highly anticipated auction that we've been uh, planning for some time, uh, and maybe one of the first, uh, first ones that we've done, which is a specialist antiques and collectible sale, a um, little bit high end. Uh, for what we've been used to but do you know what we're really looking forward to it with some great stuff in the auction uh, and I'm just looking down here already we're saying oh uh, good evening granddad I'm being sold by uh, Lois good good evening Charlie hope you're watching or either that I'm hoping you're actually going to bed but uh, instead you'll probably be playing mum and dad up okay so good evening to everybody uh, we'll do a little bit of a, a chat in a little while but what this is about tonight is to actually talk to you about the fantastic auction that we've got coming up on the 23rd of August. Now, we, we planned a, a special sale for the 23rd of August, which was originally going to be toys and antiques and collectibles, a bit of a general feel. Uh, and then we had some fantastic jobs coming at us um, which included some really, really nice items. Now, some of the items that are in these uh, in this in this auction are extremely high end, uh, as well as some, you know, not so high end. Of course, we always like to uh, cater for everybody's pocket at Prestige. So, um, basically, some of the things we've got are fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna flick through them. There's over 400 lots, believe it or not. This auction is taking place a week on Sunday, and of course, you will be able to view on the 20. 1st of August. Okay, so do me a favour, hit that share button at the bottom and we'll start having a look at some of the fantastic items that we've got in the sale. Okay, so like we said, this is a proper sort of antiques and collectible sale. So some of the items that you will see are, are quite nice ones. I can give you an idea of estimates. I've got my other computer on here with the catalogue open. Uh, the catalogue is going to be live on Easy Life from tomorrow evening. Okay, so if you are, uh, if you do want to watch any, uh, if, sorry, if you do want to ask any questions, uh, please do so. I have got my iPad in front of me as well, and uh, I will answer them the best I can. But as I say, please do hit that share button. We would like to get this one out there. It's a little bit different for Grimsby this one, uh, a high-end uh, auction. But uh, here we go. So anyway, at lot number one, we've got this fantastic Foss Russell uh, gold-plated watch. Uh, quite a nice item as well. I'm just checking there. It's engraved to George Woods for services at Colsol in Grimsby. So, you know, a bit of local history in there. And as you can see, the quality of some of the items in this sale is absolutely fantastic. At lot number two, we've got, you know, we've got a couple of cheap bits. Um, a proof coin there, Elizabeth... Uh, uh, for this one, lot number three, I quite like this. It's a stunning Edwardian nine carat gold uh, pendant and chain uh, with some nice little rubies and diamonds in there. No, sorry, it's rubies and seed pearls, this one. So, you know, this is another nice thing. Again, the, the antique feel has got to be there with the sale. Uh, we've got a, a, a standard onyx and nine carat gold ring there at lot number three. There is quite a bit of jewellery in the sale. And as you'll see, we've got some going up into the tens of thousands in a little while. That's uh, I'll be showing you. Uh, this oriental style ring, there you go, as you can see there. Uh, nine carat one, that one. And this, look at this, absolutely stunning fob spinner. Uh, a gentleman would have had on his uh, his fob chain years ago. His, his nice eighteen carat or nine carat gold watch on there as well. And uh, this is this is quite a nice thing that spins round. As you can see, there's all different colours. The quality of the items in this sale is fantastic. A small collection of coins there, as you can see. Uh, as we get through some of the, the starting lots. Lot number eight, onto our first older piece there, is this really nice old piano stool. We'll look at the fantastic inlay on that one. Of course, all this will be live uh, on the catalogue tomorrow night. We're just giving you a bit of a sneak peek here of some of the things. Look at this French uh, antique inlaid uh, table. Uh, it is absolutely stunning, this. It's a fantastic piece of workmanship. Uh, it has got the odd ding on it there. You know, it's got some age to it, this thing. And uh, as you can see here, you've got a, a lidded uh, top. Could be used for craft these days, you know, give it a bit of a modern feel. Put your sewing stuff in there. And when you look at the brass works on the side, absolutely stunning piece. Uh, these are, are being reasonably popular in recent times uh, for some of the cake shops and that's sorry not the cake shops these little tea rooms you know this is this used to be used as a, a sandwich and cake stand for having it next to your table uh, back in the olden days. This I love this this is a beautiful little uh, uh, mantle clock and it is a small one as well when you get up close there you can see it's got the great old name G Hewitt and Son Grimsby you know you don't see that name on clocks very often 
uh, and it's all in good working order so that's a nice piece as well I've also got some nice watches uh, in this sale as well uh, this is the first of them this is a nice vintage Seiko watch uh, as you can see there it's an automatic so basically a, a kinetic type, uh, type watch where you just uh, flick your wrist and uh, it will start running and it's got the open back there as you can see so you can see the mechanisms inside another old Seiko there a Seiko 5 this is a nice one with the burgundy uh, face there and the nice old style there as you can see uh, we've then go on to a rotary rotary watch a little bit of the plate wear has come off that one uh, and then this uh, was this one a Skagen one? A Skagen one, yeah, Skagen one. Relatively modern, but you know, uh, it made it into the sale because it came with another job. This I love. This is a musical, um, a musical lighter. It's in full working order. You wind it up at the back when you light your, uh, when you light the lighter for a cigarette or a candle or whatever you would do with it. Um, it plays tunes to you uh, in like a, an old-fashioned way. If you actually look there, you can see the winder on the back there quite a nice thing uh, the Royal Musical one this is a nice old uh, uh, railwayman's uh, watch uh, a little bit of face damage there but you know this is in really good working order it's quite a chunk this one it's quite a nice large watch lot number 21 there uh, I believe this one was gold that's a little nine carat uh, cameo brooch with a uh, scrolled engine uh, in very good condition total weight is 11.2 grams um, the the workmanship that's gone into that one is quite something else let me just move my catalogue up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing um, as you can see here there's all the catalogue pictures so we're seeing everything lot number 22 is this really nice nine carat gold ring with the, the blue stone possibly aqua uh, and small diamonds in that one as well uh, of course this sale isn't all about jewellery we were passing this now this is the first of what I would consider to be the nice lots this single diamond uh, ring it's not totally unsimilar to the one we sold in Prestige uh, for £4,400 the diamond is smaller uh, it's got a bit of an illusion set but it is a reasonable sized diamond it's set in 18 carat of course this style is called a gypsy setting so it's quite a nice ring this one um, I think on the day there will be a lot of interest in this ring um, as you can see there it is a nice item indeed okay so moving on then uh, past this one then we've got this old-fashioned spotter uh, spotting scope uh, you know that you use for looking at birds and all the rest of it and then we move on to the first of these absolutely stunning um, enamel signs this one for clacks milox puppy food these are quite a size these um, and the condition for their age is pretty good Spratz Bonio fine shaped biscuits um, enamel signs are always popular I'm missing one of the pictures there I've just noticed I'll have to get that sorted out Spratz mixed bird seed and parrot food in packets only you know these would have been up above the shops or on the walls years and years ago I've also got some military in this auction as well these old bayonets these are old World War II ones from what I could see uh, as you can see there lots of information all over them uh, we've got this one as well uh, we've got the age related uh, marks on them and then uh, we've got this absolutely and I've got to learn I've got to learn because as you, as you all know I'm used to doing the general sale on a Saturday with the odd the odd the odd online auction I've got to learn how to say some of these words that some of these things are called so we'll have a go at this one an antique Victorian oh god I don't know uh, which sadly has one of the stems missing uh, these these with if there was complete uh, hundreds and hundreds of pounds not quite sure how this one's going to fare it is a nice thing but as you can see there if you look at the back piece there you can actually see that one of the pieces are missing which is a real shame uh, there you go uh, lot number 32 is the uh, little bit of uh, Dresden uh, the uh, possibly Spanish dancer there in the in the frilly dress quite a nice piece Dresden ever popular in the auction room as you can see there's the Dresden sign on the bottom uh, no antique sale would be complete with a, without an old uh, 1800 sampler uh, so we've got one of those in there we've also got this uh, small collection of pipes now some of them have got degreeing amounts of damage but this is extremely small this one it's probably only a couple of inches long uh, in the original case we've got a little bit of Dalton in there as well far stuff um, and some more of these carved pipes um, there is a collector's market for these so you know you dealers out there that are looking to buy things to make a few quid on the internet then you know some of these things are going to be for you as well moving on we've got a lot of silver a lot of silver in this sale um, 
as you can see here, uh, this is uh, an old set of what they call, they're known in the trade as coffee bean spoons. They look like they've got a coffee bean at the top of them. Of course, they're all Hallmark silver, as you can see there. And then this nice set of, uh, of spoons and the sugar tongs as well. Again, all fully Hallmarked. And then this set of Walker and Hall, I think, I believe these ones uh, were actually uh, plated. Is that right? Yeah, they were sil uh, silver plated, these ones. I agreed to put them into the sale because, do you know what? Walker and Hall is a very, very good make. Um, one of the ones from years and years ago. Um, where are we now? As you can see there, the Walker and Hall uh, Sheffield sign uh and all of the markings on them 41 is this really old pocket spirit level it's really quite small it's probably only a few inches long um and uh, nice thing all the same lot number 42 is a bit of norataki i believe no it isn't it's a dresden dresden teapot stand as you can see there that's quite a nice thing and then we've got a bit of older uh, norataki as well on there and then we move up collection of uh, antique wooden boxes as you can see little bits and bobs some of your cheaper lots here maybe at the moment 45 is this really nice uh, for uh, for it uh, ford last clock uh, with beveled edge uh, uh, nice carriage clock unfortunately it does need a little bit of work this one in the back there the key is with it uh, but somebody could still pick up a bag and this is a nice thing lots number 46 is the antique Chinese uh, plate um, and, and the warmer as well, uh, all built in of a good age. Uh, some minor damage, but still a very nice item. I interesting one to watch this in the auction. Uh, could take the, uh, the hearts and minds of some of the online bidders, this one. It is an old, old piece. Uh, and the Chinese market has been quite strong recently. So we'll wait and see what that one does on the day. Uh, lot number 47 uh, is this one here. I believe this was a Paragon. Paragon uh, Victorian, uh, which one is it? Vic Victoriana Rose six-piece tea set. It's missing the sugar bowl, sadly, but you know it's still quite a nice thing. We move on to this one here. Then we move on to this collection here, which is, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read them all out, but Wedgwood and Colport, uh, various... Uh, uh, Egyptian figurines, uh, this one here at 48, which one's she? Uh, it's Neferati, then we've got the Queen of Sheba, and uh, we've got Tutankhamun, and, and uh, there's all sorts of people in there. Uh, Delilah, uh, Helen of Troy is there, and you know, so there you go. These are really quite nice figures, these. Uh, they do come as well with their certificates of authenticity and limited edition certificates and the boxes and polystyrene inserts as well. So uh, there you go, there's two and Carmen and uh, some nice things. We've got a, a, a scattering of crystal in the sale as well. It's quite nice crystal glass sets and, and things. Uh, as we move away from these, a bit of uh, Dalton crystal there as well. Uh, Dalton International Crystal and some little posy vases and things. But again, you know, a lot of the stuff, there's a lot more coming up. Uh, so what else have we got? Let's move on to some. So this is this is quite nice. Sadly, this one there was bought in one of our auctions, in a previous auction, uh, and sadly didn't get paid for, so somebody got barred. Uh, there you go. That's what happens when you don't uh, pay your bill. And this one there is a sterling silver uh, tea, teapot uh, sugar bowl and of course the matching uh, milk jug as well quite a nice thing silver uh, has been uh, in the last few days at an all-time high so there you go it may be a bit of investment look at this drew pritchard loves this sort of thing lot number 67 is this uh, industrial machinist light uh, absolutely 100 percent original uh, with all the uh, the hallmarks of its age as well uh, let you see the rust on there. I would suggest a rewire for this, but you know what? This could look fantastic in a little studio apartment or something. Um, and anyway, lots number 69. We've got these great items. We cleared a property at Barton. There's got some great mid-century hi-fi. Uh, these are in working order as well. They're absolutely stunning with a garage deck there. And you know, they're surprisingly loud, these things. They're really quite... Uh, quite nice items we move on to this one here which was which make was this this is a grundig as you can see the old record player and a uh, bit of dust in there for free this one here lot number 77 i believe this is is it or 72 let me just have a quick look on my catalogue uh 71 is the brass and cranberry oil lamp 
uh, quite a nice size this one as well uh, in excellent condition as well and then this the first of uh, one of many clocks now I can tell you we've not got all the pictures of the clocks done at the moment because we're waiting to move them into an area where we can actually get the hoods on the grandfather clocks uh, and the Vienna clocks uh, hung on the walls so then pictures are waiting to come on they'll be done over the next day or two this dome clock is absolutely huge uh, which one was it? Let's have a quick look. Vintage enamel shade at a mid-century radiogram. Dome top clock, as seen in the pictures, the clock is wooden design, good work in order. It's absolutely massive, this clock. A real, somebody is going to love this. Uh, I would imagine this is going to make a few quid. It is a nice old thing, as you can see there, in working order. The dome itself is probably worth a few quid. There is a small crack in the bottom of it, but it doesn't detail what how good it is american rocking chair this is quite a nice thing as well in extremely good condition as you can see there uh, this captain's chair this is quite a nice thing as well a little bit of wear on the seat but you know what that's to be expected with uh, uh, something so that is so old um and we move on to this this is one of the best singer uh, treadle sewing machines that i've seen in quite a long time which is why i decided to put it into the special sale it's uh, really good condition as you can see there none of it is seized uh, it does need a new band that's for sure the rubber has perished on it but you know you get all the uh, bits and bobs with it as well lot number 76 there is the another this is an 18 karat gold cameo brooch which is just over three centimeters tall and in good condition it's extremely finely carved this one it's a really nice piece uh, lot number 77 we move on to some more jewelry nine karat gold these ones 78 is a similar one and 79 these rubies and diamonds on this nine karat gold set with the earrings and the uh, necklace as well again more nice items don't forget if you have got any questions do ask them i am looking down at my monitor now to see if anything's coming through lot number 80 is this nice watch an old-fashioned one look at that uh, was working then we move on to a bit of cartier uh, cartier uh, pens extremely nice these of course cartier is a company of quality you know everything that these people make is made to the best um as you can see there look all of the relevant markings on them quite a nice item indeed and then 82 we've got another cartier watch but this one's missing the box so it's exactly the uh, sorry sorry what should i say uh, another Cartier pen, should I say, and uh, this is an extremely nice one, but it's missing the box, but again, no big deal, it's still a nice thing. And then we move on to this here, original, 100%, not one of your turkey jobs, this. This is the Tiffany & Co uh, pen and pencil set in sterling silver. Uh, was bought for somebody that spent many years abroad by their boss and uh, never actually got used. It's still in the uh, original Tiffany & Co velvet uh, holder there and, uh, and the Tiffany box as well. When you look up close at this one, which we will in a second, as you can see there, the sterling marks on the top as well. Needs a bit of a clean, but it's been stood a long time. Look at this, Timor watch. These are selling for loads of money online. This is an old military watch in such good working order with all the hallmarks of being worn many, many years ago during the war. This is a nice item indeed. I fully expect this one to do a few quid where what did we just go back to what number it was so i can just see what estimate we've got down on this uh yeah we're expecting this one to do probably six to eight hundred pounds it is a nice nice thing indeed and of course no good antiques uh, and collectible sale would be good without a rolex so we've got one in as well lot number 85 there is the rolex vintage or uh, oyster date precision stainless steel uh, mechanism wristwatch uh, numbered 7835257 on the strap, 100% uh, original uh, Rolex watch. So if you are in the market for a vintage Rolex, uh, we've got one in this sale as well. Okay, moving on then to uh, lot number... Oh, where are we? Lot number 86 is this. Uh, another stunning item. This one is the silver weaved bracelet and ring set in good condition. Old-fashioned style, this one, in sterling silver. Quite a nice thing. Seeing is believing with this. Pictures can't do this thing justice. You've got to actually see it to see how good it is. Of course, viewing uh, is on Friday the 21st. And then a 1689 um 
coin as well, crown coin uh, in silver in reasonable condition as well. Lot number 88, another nice piece of jewellery, 2.5 carat uh, diamond cluster ring, a vintage design and in good condition, 19 diamonds in total on this one. This is a bit of a bobby dazzler. Uh, get this under the light and you shine the room out. This is a really nice thing. We're expecting this one to do two to four thousand pounds uh, it is a quite a nice item indeed. Lot number 89 is this uh, chain mail uh, sterling silver choker uh, necklace. And lot number 90, a bit different this for the sale. It's not really antique, but it's a different thing. This is a ring, believe it or not. Uh, the dice and the fire ring. Quite a interesting item. It's heavy. It's a heavy, heavy sterling silver ring. But so we thought we'd give that a go. And then for you silver buyers out there, we've got some really nice old... Uh, we've got an Art Deco, a more modern, and a machine turned uh, uh, free uh, napkin rings there in sterling silver. Then we've got a set of uh, golfing sterling silver spoons, as you can see there. And we've got an assortment of spoons, including some Georgian ones. Uh, and some rat tails as well. Some rat tail, uh, which is resigning to the uh, design on the back. They got the nickname Rat Tails many years ago. Uh, we've also got a uh, small selection there of 320, uh, 51.5 grams of sterling silver coins. Uh, 97 is some more, but these are pre-47, 208.2 grams. Lots of lots of silver. We've got an, over 100 lots towards the end of this sale of sterling silver and continental as well. Okay, just wait a second because my... Oh, there we go. Lot number 98. Uh, Somebody bought this out of one of our auctions not long back, uh, did a bit of work to it, and they've popped it back in the auction again. This is a, um, a gold uh, and turquoise horseshoe pendant. Quite a nice thing indeed. They've done some testing. There'll be more information in the catalogue with that. Lot number 99 is this 14 carat uh, yellow stone necklace. Again, with gold prices being so high, could do a few quid. Lot number 100, this is beautiful. This was in one of our auctions recently. It didn't quite make the reserve, and I don't know why. This is a Georgian 18 karat gold morning ring with seed pearl and probably jet that's in there as well. Uh, it's a nice, nice thing, this one. It's worth a lot of money. It is a beautiful, beautiful antique ring. Let's see what we get now it's in a proper antique sale. Lots number 101 there is the... Oh, excuse me. I've just messed my catalogue up. Lot number 101 there is the uh, 9 karat gold vintage sapphire and opal ring. Size U weighs 9.5 grams. Uh, quite a decent size ring, that one. Uh, in an unusual design as well. Uh, maybe take somebody's fancy on the day. And this one, 102 is a uh, antique 15 karat gold ring with uh, suffragette colour stones, uh, seed pearl, weighs 3.9 grams. It's a really nice old antique item, that one. Um, moving on here, uh, this one, this is another beauty as well. Antique light sapphire and diamonds in 18 karat. This is such an art deco looking ring. It is so, so nice. Uh, what's the estimate on the book for that one? Uh, two to three hundred pounds. You know, we are uh, seeing some bigger numbers in this sale, potentially. Uh, 104 there is a nine carat rose gold small diamond and cluster ring. Uh, size oh, uh, only 50 to 80 on that one. So, you know, there could be some one or two bargains in this sale as well. Uh, oh, that shouldn't be there. Lot number 105. Is this, I think this was an 18 carat, was it? No, it's a 9 carat. 9 carat gold buckle ring, size T, weighs 8.4 grams. Um, so as we shoot, I'm just going to shoot through some of the jewellery, just letting you have a, a bit of a look. This is a single diamond, uh, and uh, is it platinum, or is it... Do, 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 do. 107, 9 carat white gold, single diamond ring uh, in a size J, weighs 2.3 grams. Quite a nice thing. White gold is popular. Uh, we've got one or two of these left as well. The uh, Cambridge University graduation ring. These are heavy rings, these are. Uh, from what I remember with this one, it's 16.2 grams. Uh, quite a chunk, this one. And we've got one more of these, I believe. There you go, 1961 uh, graduation ring. Uh, with a nice um, 
purple stone. 110, this is heavy. This is a heavy, heavy piece of gold. Nine carat uh, gold, heavy bracelet, ideal for charms or to wear. It weighs in at 40.5 grams. What a chunk that is. Uh, 111 there is the nine carat gold watch chain. Unusual design with T-bar and weighs 16.9 grams. Uh, 112 is the uh, the ever popular uh, when you do see them, which isn't very often. Ten shilling uh, note charm, of course, is a ten shilling note folded up into a nine carat gold charm. One in the auction a few weeks ago uh, that we sold uh, made up about 120 pounds, I believe. It can be a few quid these things. 113 is a an old guard chain or muff chain, some people call them, with pearl spaces in 10 karat gold. That one, quite a nice item as well. 114, one of my favourite bits in this auction, is the uh, antique rose gold ladies uh, chanteline uh, for a ladies fob watch in stunning condition and very detailed. This is as good as it gets in your antique stuff. Look at the detail on this. It is absolutely stunning and in fantastic condition as well. Uh, the the estimate on the on that one there on the Chanteline, where is it? Well, I've lost it now. Uh, is four to six hundred pounds on that one. Then we move on to some of these absolutely uh, stunning uh, antiques and collectibles that we've got in in these. So this is a figured walnut cylinder desk. Uh, on the uh, carved uh, Gabriele legs with fitted interior, ink wells, original glass, all the rest of it. Some of the items in this sale that I'm going to be showing you over the next few minutes are absolutely stunning. Uh, this one here, uh, when I'm hearing a uh, story that this might be withdrawn, which is such a shame because this would have done so well. This is the, uh, the Windsor rocking chair. You don't see them that often. It's a nice Thing indeed we'll wait to see on that one uh, and then we move to this one here which is the uh, the Baccarat uh, crystal uh, compot uh, in Renaissance pattern uh, circa 1890 to 1900 this one uh, another nice item as well look at this this is a little beauty this one it's the let me just come down to here so it's the 1940s World War Two 15 jewel Swiss uh, are ready to watch uh, with precision movement. It's on a little hanger there to be able to show it off with the military uh, claw arrow on there, whatever you want to call it. Victorian adjustable walnut piano stool with upholstered circular seat. Uh, the base is supported by these fantastic legs. Um, scroll design It's really, really nice indeed. Um, moving on, onto this. This, again, another one of my absolutely favourite pieces. The antique 19th century Imperial Russian solid silver uh, with enamel. This is a beautiful, beautiful item. Russian Imperial silver, of course, is always a nice thing. But when you look at the detail on this, you know, nobody did it quite like them, which is why it commands... Uh, uh, such a high price, this one expected to do around £2,000. Um, lot number uh, 121 is the Imperial Russian Silver Gilt uh, Caddy Spoon. Uh, again, with all the relevant marking, look at the design. Wait till you see the back of this. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. We've put a low estimate on this one, I believe, because I think it's worth a lot of money. But um, we'll just get that one an estimate of four to six hundred pounds. But it is a, such a beautiful piece of Russian silver. Uh, then we move on to the first of many uh, absolutely fantastic pieces of Royal Worcester uh, that's in this sale. Uh, Hadley's Royal Worcester mantle vase. Uh, handled body with stunning decoration and painted with yellow roses. Look at the detail on these things. They are absolutely stunning. No restoration and stunning condition. Uh, we then move on to this, which is an absolute dream. Uh, I know Lisa looked at this and fell in, in love with it. It's the uh, the, the French uh, uh, liqueur uh, Kingswood uh, purgatory case. And uh, with the mounts and the decanters and the crystal glasses, this is in stunning, stunning condition. Look at that. It's a nice item, this one. Where are we expecting this one to be? 
anywhere between eight and twelve hundred pounds um, this one here is uh, something a little bit different this uh, by uh, the fantastic uh, company uh, what was it called the Varnishing Co London glass gobbler uh, no later than uh, uh, 18 well, no later than 1851 this one uh, it's four and a quarter inches total base a stunning decoration this could be a surprise and do quite a bit of money these tend to sell for a serious amount but there you go that's what you get for fantastic old antiques we're just going to flick through some one or two bits now as well we've got the really nice old uh, georgian decanter there uh, and then some of these hot glasses and uh, liqueur glasses you know some of these are hundreds of pounds each they're absolutely stunning and then we move on to this one here, which is the JCG Large Ball with Cat Swimming Through Weeds. It's a commission piece, this one. Uh, JCG, they are, JCJ, should I say, they do such really nice items. Um, and again, this one's a bit of a head turner, as you can see, uh, it's a nice thing. We go on to the first of the uh, Vienna um, uh, oil lamps again. These are in stunning condition. We've also got some fantastic uh, bronzed, bronze, not bronze, bronzed spelter figures as well this one here again is another stunning piece um, we've got another oil lamp there and we've got these uh, french french bedroom lights uh, in cranberry as well and we move on to more furniture this absolutely stunning uh, piece there and let's just move on this this is a very very impressive piece um it's the Royal Worcester Moon Vase by Christopher Dresser, 1878. This, I think, will make a few heads turn. It's in such fantastic condition. It's a beautiful, beautiful item. Look at the condition of it. Uh, the person that bought this paid a lot of money for this. Again, it's another nice item. Um, we then move on to the Carlton Ware Lustre Vase. Uh, with butterfly design 11 inches tall five inches wide uh, again this isn't just your bog standard stuff this is such nice items as you can see all of the things that we're showing you here are absolutely stunning let's move on to some of the oh there we go so we're on to the first of the the plates there let me just uh, see uh uh, the Rosenthal plate with a uh, scene of children playing uh, the back entitled uh, with all the details. You know, these here are going to uh, set the room on fire. Look at the painted detail on these. You know, these are worth a thousand pound each all day long. They are absolutely stunning. And this is before we even start on the, uh, the galley uh, cutback cameo glass vase. Uh, dramatic cutback cameo glass. Uh, with design leaves etc these can make a serious amount of money you do not see these coming up at auction very often they are extremely nice items in fact there was the price on the bottom of that one at just a bargain price of 2200 we move on to this uh, uh, eight day vienna uh, old eight day vienna clock as you can see there uh, we've got some more galley glass there this is quite a large uh, posy vase uh, quite a nice item the, the the detail that goes into these things um, is actually quite stunning there's a pair of early 20th central uh, 20th century crystal candlesticks here uh, 20.4 centimeters tall uh, what else have we got here so we're moving on here to another one of these stunning stunning uh, plates you know estimated somewhere around a thousand pound these ones um, I'm just going to click through a few, some of the glassware, although you'll be able to read all this on the catalogue tomorrow night. Some of these are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I'm going through the miniatures there, so I want to get onto some of the uh, some of the really um, nice pieces. Look at this one, the, the Galley scent bottle. That is absolutely stunning. Uh, some of these are going to do really well. I would have thought, here's one of my favourite pieces in the auction which is the Royal uh, the Royal Worcester um, uh, Stinton uh, Highland cattle uh, vase you know these are online for thousands and thousands of pounds the work that went into these is absolutely stunning this has got no restoration it's in perfect condition 
uh, and will make a few quid on the day I would have thought and then we've got this one here the Worcester Peacock Vars uh, again look at the paintwork the details on these is absolutely stunning and then this absolutely lovely um, French where are we the uh, French uh, mantel clock surrounded by uh, Paris porcelain uh, with uh, the Sorry, no, she's making having a bad dream, I think. Um, so there you go. This is another absolutely stunning piece. What you'll find with most of these items is the condition. The condition is absolutely delightful. Uh, where are we with this one? Let's just have a quick look. Um, the, uh, the Bronze and Ivory uh, by Dominique uh, Alonso. Um, and he's a 1930s Art Deco piece, this one. Again, another fine piece. And we've got some fine pottery in there as well as the crystal and the Baccarat stuff. And then this. This is absolutely beautiful. When I first walked into this property, this is one of the first things that uh, really took my eye. Is this absolutely fantastic um, Moorcroft vase can't actually find it on my list at the moment but this Moorcraft vase is I think it's about 13 or 14 inches tall maybe taller uh, the work is is fantastic it's older Moorcroft so it's got the original stamps about 1930s this one with the William Moorcroft signature on the bottom this one is expected to do quite well and then we've got a Royal Worcester uh, potpourri um, uh, vase with uh, sorry potpourri with uh, yellow roses uh, again, no restoration or damage. These are in great condition. And then the one with the, the different coloured roses there, as you can see. And then we move on to this one, which is, I believe this is a Worcester plate, is it? Uh, where are we at? Let's have a quick look. The Royal Worcester cabinet plate decorated with still life of fruit uh, by Richard Seabright in perfect condition. You know, probably expected to do five to six hundred pounds that one. Um, you know, even if you're not getting involved with the bidding, you've got to come down and see this. It's going to be a great day. Uh, walnut uh, uh, card table uh, is suffering from a little bit of sun damage, but do you know what? It's nothing major. It's a really nice thing. There's proper antiques, this one. Look at that. We move on to more hot glasses. Uh, we'll just skip through those for the time being. And then we move on to these fantastic Art Deco uh, uh, opalescent glass. Um, some of these are thousands of pounds. These are really nice. You, you've got a light behind these and they are stunning. There you go. Uh, one of these had a, a, a valuation of four and a half thousand. Uh, the Ford Glass uh, Clock, again, this is another nice antique, as you can see there. Again, the condition. We've also got some marble busts uh, in this sale. And as you can see, look at the size of the stand on that one. This is really, really tall. And again, fantastic condition. Uh, we move on to this one, uh, which could be a small desk or dressing table, um, but uh, whichever you decide to use it for, another nice antique indeed. Uh, we move on here, some more JCJ stuff. As you can see there, he, uh, the gentleman that owned all this had a lot of stuff commissioned with these people. As you can see there, we'll flip through that. Look at this mirror. What an absolutely stunning mirror. Look at the detail on it, the panels that are on it, the amount of work that has gone into it. This old trunk, that's quite nice as well. And then we move on to this uh, absolute Bobby Dazzler here. Uh, where are we? Period walnut uh, and purple heart credenza with a rare central uh, sort of porcelain plaque. Circa 1870, this one. Uh, again, this is a nice piece of furniture. It's quite big, um, but it's in such great condition, as you can see there, with a porcelain plate in there as well. Uh, we move on, we've got another nice watch, a, a Tag Hewer watch in there. Oh, I've just gone flip that one a bit quick there. So there you go, professional 200 meter one. Uh, it does come with the box and the original uh, credit card certificates. An Orvis watch in its box there, another nice thing, and a bit of Lalique as well. Modern Lalique, but uh, all the same, it's still quite a nice thing in its original box. Some more JCJ uh, stuff, some more uh, uh, Galet glass, and uh, we've got some more of that coming up. Then we move on to uh, what can only be said as some of these absolutely uh, stunning paintings. Let me just sort my catalogue out. 
so I can see where we're at. And this is a 1783 watercolour. Uh, and it's uh, after the late French uh, uh, Rococo artist, uh, John uh, Frederick Schall. Uh, the painting is a period one. It is a nice thing indeed. Uh, it's expected to do 1,000 to 1,500 pounds on the day, this one. You don't see many like this. It's a nice thing indeed. Uh, an early in Victoria, uh, a Victorian lady in riding habit face set and painted on ivory, this one. This is an absolutely beautiful thing as well. Proper antiques, proper art. This has got to be one of the highlights of the sale. Uh, a KPM porcelain uh, plaque decorated with a scene of uh, uh, twins, uh, sorry, sorry, a, a heart after a painting by uh, Frederick Paul uh, Fuman. And this is a beautiful thing. This is really good. You can't believe how good the quality is of this until you actually see it up close. I'll try to do some pictures for you there. Uh, this one uh, is expected to make four to five thousand pounds on the day. And then we have Ruth, another uh, painted uh, porcelain plaque. Uh, early Victorian, uh, uh, sorry, it's the wrong one. Do apologize. A very rare museum quality uh, uh, porcelain plaque uh, by uh, by Wagner and uh, a stunning quality porcelain hand painted, which actually features in a book as well. And you will be given the book, the hardback book, along with this. Should you be the winner and uh, pay the money for such a uh, stunning item, we then move on to some more paintings, uh, which is a uh, uh, this one is of Whitby, uh, really nice old watercolor. Uh, from many many years ago for six hundred pounds on that one and then we move on to this one here which is a nice old watercolor a Walter Goodall feeding the calf uh, dated 1866 and signed as well this is another nice item uh, with provenance with them as well okay so we've come through here and you see we've got several that one St Ives another great painting we've got lots of rare old watercolors and oil paintings but I want to get to uh, this one now we've got these here we've got the the uh, the Chivers one but one of my favorite artists ever uh, locally uh, is a guy called Keith Baldock yeah, his, his trawler paintings are without doubt the best ones I have ever seen in the auction room uh, when we do get them. These are original oils, uh, as you can see here. Uh, uh, Keith does such amazing work. And we've got been lucky enough to have three of them in this sale, as you can see there. This, this particular one is such a great, great item. Uh, there you go, with all the trawlers together. And as you can see there, these, these are all these ones here. And then you can see this one. Lace that you, it's going out live that. Uh, and then this other Keith Baldock here, as you can see, is this uh, fantastic older one, 93. And then this one, uh, a copy, uh, of course, uh, uh, an oil painting copy uh of, uh, of a really famous artist uh see if you can guess who that one is and then onto these here now these when i went to view this property these shocked me uh i'd never seen any work by uh, david waller before and i left an art fan these are absolutely stunning oil paintings you cannot imagine until you get up close to these someone always told me you know to to actually understand um, great artwork you've got to stand away you don't need to of these the quality is fantastic look at this coach and horses uh, there outside the swan in the closer you get the better it gets you know i can don't know if i can zoom in on them but you know some of these uh, they've got some uh, reasonable estimates these but you know what uh, they are without doubt in fact this one here is without doubt the best oil painting I have ever seen uh, that's going to be coming in our auction room. This is um, 
of the, the, the fields years ago uh, in Lincolnshire, because David is a Lincolnshire artist, and you sort of stand back and look at that and think, oh, the quality is quite good. And then you get in close and see for an oil painting how good the quality is. You watch this. That is absolutely stunning. What a fantastic piece of art. Uh, and then you look down there, the, the farmer bending down, the, the sheepdog looking, you know, the quality is amazing. This one here is, uh, I think this one's called The Harvest. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, but this one, again, uh, is pain painted in, uh, let me just have a look. The Linkage Harvest, 30 by 40 inches. It's unique scene. It was with the inspiration from years ago. Um, and if you look closely, if you look there, where you can see with my mouse, that's Lincoln Cathedral in the background. Uh, and look again, the quality of these. If you are looking to buy a piece of art, which is a, a sure investment, these have got to be the ones. You know, these are stunning, nice display items that's going to decorate any wall. Um, old Lincolnshire, absolutely stunning. We move on to this uh, this walnut, I believe this is a walnut coffee table. Uh, coffee table uh, having satin wood inlay, uh, figured walnut top. Uh, it's quite a nice item. Uh, again, very nice antique items. I'm just going to start flicking through this. I don't want to make this uh, go on too long. Another, some more uh, uh, stunning glass there, some more cameo glass. This is absolutely beautiful, that one in a different colour. Then we've got the Art Deco lamp. Uh, this is a nice one. Uh, we've also got a nice long case clock. Uh, reproduction Tiffany lamp, but we've put it in because the shade is just so big. It's another nice item. Uh, and what else have we got coming up? Uh, we've got these silver plated uh, jars, uh, possibly for sweets. Uh, back in the day, some more David Waller um, uh, paintings. Again, quality. Look, Just look at that bird in flight there. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're moving along here. We've got more uh, more David Waller. Uh, again, more birds in flight. More Lincolnshire scenes. And look at that. Uh, when you actually get to read the catalogue tomorrow night, all the detail for all of these is in the catalogue. Okay, so you'll be able to read it. This is Rupert. This was somebody's dog. Uh, and again, another fantastic painting by David. Uh, in fact, if you see there, it actually says Rupert just down there. Look, so... And then this one, you know, sort of farmyard scenes, the horse and the chickens and all the rest of it, you know, uh, another, another, you know, of its time. Look at this stunning chair. This stunning chair is in the auction as well, as well as this absolutely stunning chandelier. Uh, we believe this to be gold plated. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, expected to make a few quid. There it is. And then we've got this Art Deco one as well, which was hung in the bedroom at the property. We've got more antique furniture. Uh, statues, uh, as you can see there, the more glass. I'm sorry, just flicking through this a bit because uh, we don't want to go on forever on this. And look at this. I'm just going to sort of flick through some pictures now just so you can have a look. Of course, you can watch these videos back on Facebook if you want to go back and look at anything. More art. As you can see there, there's more detail going to be going on for these uh, over the next day or two. More watercolours. And then this one here, I found this quite interesting. This was actually uh, uh, in the garage at the property, was. Uh, and it's a huge oil painting by Young. Uh, Young, of course, a local artist. Uh, and uh, this was a commission piece where he did uh, for somebody who worked on these uh, oil rigs. Okay, so uh, it's another nice piece indeed. As you can see, there's the, uh, in fact, it was in, uh, I can't quite read that date, but is it 1986, I'm not sure. More fantastic watercolours, as you can see there, uh, this stunning antique as well, and uh, beautiful mirrors, uh, more paintings. Again, all this will be detailed for you to be able to read at your leisure in the catalogue that will be going live tomorrow evening. That's a set of four pictures together, four seasons. Uh, this car was coming in, but it's just been withdrawn. And then we move on to this, uh, the next stuff here. Uh, more Royal Worcester, as you can see. 
beautiful stuff again i'm just gonna keep flicking through more worcester more worcester and then we move on to uh, quite a nice little collection of uh, shelly as you can see here these uh, shelly items really old shelly items that are going to be in the auction as well uh, we'll flick through these because again i don't want it to last forever uh, shelly carnation really nice pieces full up uh, uh, from edinburgh uh, with the lucky heather on there some nice older shelly pieces these ones and then we move on to some pool, some absolutely stunning pool as well. The abstract pool uh, with the really nice colours, as you can see there, right up to this stunning bottle vase. Um, anyway, uh, and a paste vase there as well, which is quite nice. And then we move on to that one, which is a gemstone pattern, more pool. And then we've got some pool plates as well. Uh, large ones then we move on to a small collection of Murano glass as you can see here Murano baskets this one here that's quite a big piece this one the Murano uh, one of the Murano birds and then we've got another Murano bird there and uh, Murano fish uh, Murano peacock uh, Murano owl um, we've also got a Murano horse and what else? Oh, we've got the Murano shell uh, vase, uh, Murano vase, and we've got no no collection of Murano would be complete without, of course, the uh, the fantastic uh, Murano clowns, as you can see there, and there's several of those as well. Okay, but then we move on to a bit of Medina glass, as you can see there. And then we move on to this stunning collection of silver. Uh, lots of sterling silver, lots of really old stuff, including Georgian. I'm not going to go on about it too much. I'm just going to flick through slowly so you can go back and look at it if you so desire. We're trying to get the best pictures we can of the uh, hallmarks as well, so you can work dates and places out and makers and all the rest of it. Look at these uh, fantastic berry spoons. Um, really nice old pieces this is a nice piece this is a, a sterling silver combined snuff box and uh, tobacco box which opens up as you can see like that again and this is a uh, an old cigarette box with a picture frame inside it as well which is another nice touch some of the workmanship that's in some of these old silver pieces is fantastic as i can say i'm just going to flip through over a hundred lots of silver here old silver sugar bowls and trinket dishes and this really nice old uh, irish spoon caddy spoon that one some fantastic hallmarks on some of the georgian stuff as well uh, as you can see there and then uh, you move on to uh, this the, the just look at the, the the quality of some of this stuff the old uh, christening cups and tankers look at that a sterling silver medicine spoon as well again really nice items cream jugs milk jugs uh, sugar tongs uh, look at some of the quality of the work in some of these as well look at that what a great bit of fun that one is uh, a sterling silver pig vesta case uh, ideal for keeping your matches in of course uh, another nice item indeed uh, and then we move on to these uh, small boxes and uh, spoons and sifter spoons and this little vinaigrette uh, as you can see there uh, that's a bit of a continental piece that one and we've got some old masonic silver as well lincolnshire ones these are stunning look at these uh, filigree um, enameled pieces the work in these is unbelievable could see them fly i think when the auction starts uh, a little bookmark there um, in sterling silver as well of course and some more little trinket snuff boxes and uh, there's an elephant sterling silver bookmark uh, another piece of uh, filigree there and sifter spoons uh, and barrel salts they're quite nice as well and we've got uh, this one here now there is some question about this one uh, but again we'll let uh, uh, people decide that this could be an old liberty one this one uh, we can't be 100 percent sure but it is quite a nice thing uh, a continental uh, uh, sterling imported uh, uh, talc box there and uh, some of these really nice little uh, trinket boxes with the cherubs on and things and sugar shakers and glove stretchers and uh, and various spoons and fish servers and, uh, and more silver shakers 
And this here, this is a nice thing as well. Let me just go back one. This is a Japanese cigarette case. Now look at the work that has gone into this. Every piece you open, including the insides, look, have all got the pictures and the design. Um, this one was issued by the Bank of England uh, for an anniversary. That one's in sterling silver as well. Uh, as well, we've got some coffee spoons there and uh, some more various teaspoons and sugar nips. More, some more uh, coffee bean spoons there, and uh, an old cruet set, which is missing a spoon, sadly. We move on to some of these older christening uh, uh, cups, and this old uh, 1700 silver spoon there, late 1700s, this Victorian uh, little trinket. Uh, really nice things. These ones are quite interesting as well. Two spoons, which are the uh, of uh, Nelson's column. Nelson's column, um, and you can see uh, there he is on the top of the spoons. Quite a bit of fun. Them older ones, nice things. Little specimen vases or specimen jars uh, and uh, salt and pepper. The, these are quite nice as well. These were issued in 1996 uh, for uh, the Canberra, which was a cruise ship years ago. Uh, I remember it well from when I lived on the Yellow White. You see it quite uh, often. The Canberra was a luxury cruise liner. And again, one of the, uh, along with the QE2, went to the Falkland Islands as a hospital ship uh, in the 1980s. But these were um, purchased on board uh, 1996 silver, uh, sterling silver napkin rings uh, to celebrate the world cruise that the Canberra did. Um, Georgian uh, Child's Knife and Fork set. And uh, some really, really nice uh, fish servers as well. There's a nice sterling silver frame with Charlotte on it. Uh, some various uh, silver top bottles. Let's look at this for a bit of fun. This sterling silver old-fashioned golfer. As you can see there, you look at that. There he is playing his golf. And a set of four salts that are all the same. Again, this is another, another nice thing. And uh, we're moving on here. Uh, to this, this is nice as well. I quite like this. This is a, a sovereign scale. So basically, you'd put your full sovereign there or your half sovereign there, and it would give you the exact uh, the balance on it to show you the weight. You can actually read all the information. So we get one of these in the original box is quite rare as well. So quite a nice thing. Uh, some more spoons, as you can see there, and various uh, jugs and uh, milk jugs and cream jugs. George and this pen holder as well. Desk tidy, it could be. Uh, you know, all these different things that you could do. Some more salts, more spoons, lots of Georgian spoons and things in the sale. So a lot of weight of silver here when you look at it. Uh, and this here, I quite like this myself, a little sterling silver gavel pendant. Uh, quite a nice weighty little thing, interesting bit. Or if you're looking for a bit of fun in sterling silver, we've got an adjustable spanner um, uh, or a set of matches or uh, a screw in sterling silver. Why not? And uh, a little peg as well. Uh, we've got uh, what we've got for you, seven uh, silver top bottles there. Of course, you get these a clean up there, will look lovely. Uh, a sterling silver tennis racket, uh, why not? That's a bit of fun. Or a sterling silver fruit knife. Um, oh, we've got trinket dishes and little boxes and and cups and all the rest of it. Uh, so let's just have a flick through these so you can see them. These are quite nice as well. One of them has got a little bit of damage, but the other one's okay. These are actually knife rests uh, from years ago. You'd actually have the horns there. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's quite nice. Um, we've got some, some knives there, a uh, set of six, and some preserved spoons. Um, Various silver items there. So, uh, three silver trophies there, quite nice. None of them uh, have been engraved, so they could be used if you wanted to add something a bit better rather than just the normal cheap stuff that you can get. Uh, and this Spencer & Co, of course, they were quite famous for doing the uh, the Masonic stuff. This one is a sterling silver Masonic award as well. As you can see, another Masonic silver there and uh, more sterling silver cups and jugs and all the rest of it. And uh, these are Cadogan um, uh, Ladybird Cufflinks. Again, these are a lot of money to buy in sterling silver. Then we've got some silver one-ounce coins uh, for the 1996 European Football Championships and some uh, mint, uh, Royal Mint uh, Proof coins as well. And then this absolutely stunning piece of Clarice Cliff. This is quite big. Uh, and a design that's not that often seen, not like the bizarre design. 
this is another nice piece. Uh, and then this, this is a beauty. This is a Wurlitzer uh, bubble, uh, bubble uh, jukebox, uh, tech CDs, modern version. But you know, thousands and thousands of pounds. Coin operated as well. Uh, we've done a lot of pictures of this for you to be able to see. We've actually had it up and running uh, today. It's quite a nice thing. I try to give you an idea of the, the bubbles going around. There's the coin slot look. And uh, five plays for one pounds. There you go. Charge your friends when they come around to listen to your music. Uh, the manual that's in there. This is a big beast. Them speakers are big. The, the sound is loud. Okay, so this is a really nice thing. Um, so the, the bubble, as you can see there on there, the, the bubbles actually spin round on the, the Wurlitzer jukebox. Uh, estimated to be around £5,000, uh, this one. It is a beauty. And then we come on to this. This is the thing I've been talking to you about week, for weeks and weeks now. This is what £96,000 will buy you. Uh, this is a 18 karat white gold uh, necklace, earrings and uh, necklace, earrings and ring set large extremely large rubies and diamonds and all the rest of it uh, as you see here i mean the lights on this you've got to see this up close and personal to appreciate just how lovely it is look at those uh, earrings there with a valuation of thirty-eight thousand five hundred on their own uh, i will show you the valuation reports in a second so you can see for yourself uh, there you go look at them absolutely stunning uh, maybe an investment piece this one um, and there you go, there's all your, your jewellery valuations here, it is 38,950 for the earrings, uh, 14,995 for the ring and 36,500 for the necklace with all the diamonds, you can of course go back and, and pause all this and read all the details for yourself, so you're looking at somewhere around 95, 96,000 pounds um, with an auction estimate of thirty to forty thousand. Okay, uh, we then move on to uh, the first of two cars. Now this has been a change to what we advertised. We said it was going to be a Rover, uh, and it isn't. It's this little MG. Look at this localized plate for Grimsby. Uh, this is a runner. This is a beautiful little car. This one's going under the hammer at 23rd of August at Prestige Auctions. Uh, look at the condition of this. It's been well looked after. Look at all this. If you're looking to go into the classic car market and you want to go, go in straight at a certain level, this is going to be the car for you. As you can see, with lots of pictures done of it, it is a little beauty. But of course, no good sale would be complete without a Rolls-Royce as well. Uh, the last lot of our auction is this fantastic uh, Rolls-Royce uh, Silver Spirit. This will actually be in the auction room with the other car as well. As you can see there, these pictures aren't the uh, best. I'm going to get these enlarged. But as you can see, this is a beautiful car. Will be in the auction room for you to be able to view uh, we won't be wanting your kids jumping all over them, of course, but uh, this is what we're going to be. We are going to be selling uh, a week on Sunday at Prestige. So there you go. That uh, is pretty much what's in there. Uh, this video, of course, will be saved so you can read back and watch back at your leisure. Uh, we have got hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of stuff in this sale. Uh, what it will do, we don't really know. We're not quite sure. Do me a favour, share it for us. Let the people know. There is a market for this sort of stuff. Uh, something new to us, this one, trying this level of, uh, of item in Grimsby. Uh, we shall see how it goes. So I'm just looking down to Facebook now to just see uh, if anybody has got any questions at all. Have they seen anything that they're quite interested in uh, or they'd like to know estimates on or maybe they're just looking at things that you're thinking to yourself, well, I'd love to be able to afford to buy it. Um, who knows? You know, the auctions are the auctions. Not everything has got reserves. Uh, there are items with reserves. Of course there are. But not everything has got reserves. You know, this is a stunning auction. We're expecting a lot of interest from down south, etc., of course, because there's, uh, there's a few quid kicking around down there, or so I'm told. Um, but do you know what? 
I think overall it is really quite an interesting auction to have in Grimsby at prestige auctions on Orwell Street, who'd have thought it? You know, this is nice, nice stuff. So if you've got any questions, do let me know. Or just if you just want to put on the bottom in the comments what you actually think, what you've seen and all the rest of it. Do you think it looks like a good auction? I see Roof Wright has just put there, looks good. Um, which we appreciate. You know, we do appreciate your feedback. Uh, it's very important to us at Prestige that we get your feedback and uh, we can uh, we can work out, you know, what we're going to do in the future. So just letting you know very quickly on this live feed that as uh, we've got an auction this Saturday, uh, the general sale, 700 and something lots, some nearly nice old pieces of furniture, uh, a fantastic mobility scooter, and, uh, and and other stuff, lots of craft stuff in this week as well. It's a very general sale, of course, this week. Uh, and then next Saturday, uh, we've got another general sale. And then on the Sunday, we've got this one as well. Uh, another, another fantastic uh, weekend to be at Prestige Auctions. Okay, not long after this, two weeks in September, we will be closed. We're shutting to have a break. Um, we've been flat out ever since we came back from lockdown. It's time to uh, put our feet up for a week if we can. And uh, and then, of course, we are planning uh, another special sale, as well as our general sales week on week, was planning another special sale for uh, October. And uh, that one, I've already seen some of the stuff that's going to be coming in for that. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of a music feel to it. We've just been to a fantastic property in Grimsby uh, last couple of days looking at lots of uh, various music items and a massive collection of uh, Grimsby memorabilia as well. So that's all to look forward to for October. If you have got any uh, specialist items that you would like us to uh, sell for you, please get in touch uh, through any of our social media channels uh, or, of course, by calling the office and speaking to one of the team and, uh, and we'll be able to get those items auctioned for you. In terms of house clearances, we're extremely busy at the moment. We've, oh, I'll tell you what we have also got coming in for the uh, October special sale. A fantastic collection of Ladro and Neo as well. Lisa will be excited. As a few of you know, Lisa does like a Ladro. So uh, we've got all that coming up. And then, of course, do start thinking about our December jewellery auction as well. Uh, that's going to be coming up uh, not too far away. And just to uh, make things a little bit better and put the pressure on just that little bit more, we are planning an art auction for November. So lots of special sales coming up, as well as the weekly uh, general sales, which we do enjoy a lot. Uh, thanks, Claire, for saying, wow, nice auction. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? Pete Everson, there is some lovely stuff in the auction. Love the uh, uh, agricultural paintings and the trawlers. Pete, I... I never have ever got excited about art. I am not an art lover. Do you know what? That some of them, them David Waller paintings, are the best art I have ever seen. And then to have them, uh, as well as uh, Keith Baldock paintings in the same, uh, sorry, Keith Peter, okay, Keith Baldock uh, paintings in the same auction. My favourite trawler artist. Do you know? It's a treat. Do you know, it's going to be so nice just to even look around this auction. Uh, I'm getting. Oh, and then, of course, uh, the, the pictures we haven't got done yet, which are of the long case grandfather clocks. We've got a case to one in. We've got four. One, two, three, four. Four. I think it's four or five Vienna clocks as well, which are all stunning. You know, this is going to be, uh, without doubt, the, the best uh, online auction we have ever done at Prestige. We need you guys to support it, though. You know, if, if, if it's not for the Grimsby area, this, then it's something we won't consider doing again. But, you know, we're giving it a go because, do you know what? Uh, people say what they like about Grimsby. It's a fantastic town and uh, Grimsby, Claythorpe and surrounding areas. And you know what? We deserve to have something a little bit better. So that's what we're trying to do for you. Anyway, thank you everybody for uh, watching in tonight, uh, whether you've just clicked in or whether you're watching this later on uh, on, on the catch-up thing that we do. Uh, we do appreciate you uh, uh, supporting us at Prestige Auctions. Uh, have a great evening, everybody. Don't forget, viewing is Friday, uh, Orwell Street, 8 a.m. till 7 p.m., and uh, we will look forward, hopefully, to seeing you all at the auction this week. Uh, if not, uh, we will catch up with you on Facebook. Thank you to everyone that watched in on YouTube as well. And uh, do have a very pleasant evening.